Weddings are pretty interesting to think about. Some people love weddings. The love in the air, the friends and family coming from all over to help celebrate the new couple, the fancy clothes, the food, everything. I just got back from her brother David's wedding, and before I go on, I just want to say how happy I am for him and his new bride. They had an amazing wedding, and it was awesome to see them both so happy. I've been to many weddings, and the funny thing about being the bride and groom is that it automatically puts you at celebrity status. You can't go anywhere without getting stopped by friends and family. They want to talk to you, they want pictures, they just want to be around you. You could have hung out with these same people a month ago and you'd have just been a regular person, hidden in the crowds. But when it's your wedding, something different happens. You're in the limelight and people want to be in it with you. And I think that's a cool thing. A little bit of celebrity status isn't so bad. Now before the big day, usually a bachelor or bachelorette party is in order. And you could have a couple different types of parties. You could have a sensible, laid back, nice evening out with your friends. Or you can go crazy and get stupid drunk, passed out in a stripper's lap. While each one appeals to different people, for me personally, I'm more for a laid back evening. That's how my bachelor party was, and that's how we celebrated with David. Now, I have been to other bachelor parties that have ended up at a strip club, and don't get me wrong, some people can appreciate the beauty of a naked woman dancing in front of them, but I'm cheap. I know that I can go home and have that same experience with my wife and not have it cost anything. Granted, I can also drink at home much cheaper than when I go to a bar, so I guess it's the experience you're paying for. My bachelor party consisted of a handful of us renting a house on the river for a weekend, drinking beer and doing some barbecuing. Ah, yes. America. Just now from a brother's party, we went to a jazz club to listen to a local artist while drinking a locally brewed beer, and afterwards, went to a nice cigar and martini bar for a drink and a smoke. And again, ah yes, America. We didn't end up with crazy stories to tell our friends later, nobody passed out drunk in the street, but we were able to relax and enjoy the solitude of being with friends and family to celebrate one last evening before one of us started the next chapter in life. And isn't that what life is about? It's like a book with chapters. Right before one chapter ends, the writer usually leaves us with something cool to keep us reading on to the next chapter. Life is the same way. Each major milestone has something prominent to remind us that this is the end of something special, but the start of something even better. High school graduation reminds us that we are leaving childhood behind to become adults. College graduation, if you take that route, reminds us that the real world is getting ready to open up in front of us and jobs and careers are in an immediate future. Retirement, later down the road, ends our time working Monday through Friday and prepares us for traveling or spending time with children and grandchildren. And these are just the major milestones. And not all of us will have these same milestones, but we'll have different ones, maybe even better ones. You can't feel bad if your last milestone was high school graduation and your friend is currently getting ready to graduate from college and has a fantastic career lined up. Your next milestone will come. You might not know when or what, but that's the beauty of life. Each of us are different, and each of us are going through life at our own pace. You may not even realize the ending of one chapter or the start of another, but they are happening for you. Maybe ever so slightly, but they are happening. I would like to dedicate this talk to everyone who is listening and to all of your milestones in life, but most importantly, to my brother David and his wife Charlie. Congratulations on your next chapter in life. Enjoy the little and big milestones, and don't forget to celebrate every day.